Hi hey everyone, what's up? Today I want to talk to you about line integrals. So line integrals are a very cool topic. This is when calculus becomes really cool. Um, and I want to just show you an example today of how you can solve it. So basically, let's say we have this vector field, minus x and y, minus x, hat, minus x i hat plus y j hat. And let's say the curve that we're trying to, the trajectory that we want to take the line integral over is going to be y equals x squared from zero to, from x equals zero to x equals two, okay? So let's do it, so let's do it. So we're gonna have the line integral along the curve C of f dot dr. dr, remember, is just going to be a displacement vector. One way in which dr is defined is like this, dx, dy, okay? This is really useful and in fact, I'm gonna use this to solve this problem in a moment, but this is something you should know. It is very useful. Uh, and something we can, do, we can do now that I'm using this is that, well, if we parameterize this curve, we're going to be able to find these differentials. And then, well, we can find them. Uh, we can put everything in terms of a parameter t, take a dot product, and then just take a definite integral as we normally would. And that's what I'm going to do. So I will parameterize this curve like this. Let's say uh, x equals, I'm just going to say t, it doesn't really matter. Line integrals depend on the, uh, they depend on the curve you have, but they don't depend on the parametrization that you use. So I will say y equals t squared, okay? So this is how we're parametrizing everything. Um, so then we have the following. dx is going to be, dx will be equal to dt, Okay, so here I'm just differentiating with respect to t, finding the differentials, and then dy will be equal to 2t dt, okay? 2t dt. So this is what we have. I, right now I am just solving for this, okay? Because once I have this, I will plug it in here, okay? So then uh, we have the following. We can say that dr, our displacement vector in terms of, uh, let's say our parameter t, is gonna be one comma, 2t dt, okay? So this is great. Um, and now f, well, that's very nice and simple because we can rewrite it. Uh, we can rewrite f in terms of t because f is in terms of x and y, and we already have x and y in terms of t, okay? We arbitrarily chose this parameterization. So then we have the following. Uh, we have, remember, f is gonna be minus x, so that is minus t, comma, uh, then, plus y, that will be uh, t squared, so then t squared dot with one, two, t, 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 okay, nice. And now, instead of saying we have a curve t, I'm just gonna put in the parameters that we have for t. So we're, we know that x ranges from zero to two, which also means that t ranges from zero to two, okay? That is very simple. Um, nice, and then we just solve this as a normal integral. You can take this dot product, that is something totally legal, and we would get the following. So I'll continue uh, probably down here. So we're, we have the integral from zero to two of, uh, so we have minus t uh, plus two t cubed dt, okay? Remember this dt, goes outside of the entire thing. And nice, we just integrate this, okay? Uh, so let's do that. That should be easy PC. Uh, we have minus T squared divided by two, plus um, that should be a half T to fourth power, okay? Great. Um, and we evaluate this from zero to two. And this will be, so then, at zero, this entire thing is zero, is zero, so that's great. So then we just have minus four divided by two, so two squared divided by two, that will be two, plus, uh, now we have two to a fourth power, that is the same as four squared, which is the same as 16, and then divided by two, that is eight. So then we have six, okay? And six, well, depending on what type of problem you're doing would have different units. Let's say you're doing physics, this would be joules because you're really you're taking you're finding the work down down along this curve and along this horizontal distance from zero to two. If this is physics, so this would have a unit of joules. 
Right now we're doing math, so we're just gonna forget about joules and units, basically. Math doesn't need units. Um, okay, so that's great, yeah. And there's a confined align integral, okay? So hopefully you enjoyed this video, hopefully you learned something, and see you in the following one.